All right, welcome back to Impossible 2.0. Next up, I have Virgos. Where are my possible Virgos at? All right, Virgos, the time now is 6.31, 10. Okay, so a completion. You're entering into a new phase. Some of you guys are trying to get your money up or there's an offer that's taking a long time. I feel like there's blockages when it comes or there's something that you can't see, okay? But it's like a, sl a, a snail's pace. Something's moving at a snail's pace and it's blockages. So let's see here what's going on. Spirit, give me two cards to start off Virgo's reading, please. Yeah, four pentacles, yes. It's about money. So some of you guys are having financial difficulties, saving money. It is advised to save money, okay? Um, yeah. Somebody may be still holding on to your energy, but there's just like a saving energy, financial instability here. Um, you may have been dealing with somebody that's greedy, stingy, and likes to have control over the finances um, as well. But being frugal of how you spend money. But there's blockages here. There's blockages. Okay? But there may be a fear of change as well. Some of you guys may be moving to a new state. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Excuse me. Some of you guys are parents out there, mothers, fathers, figures. Some of you guys are still have feelings for someone. Okay? Yes. Some of you guys still have feelings for someone. Uh, with the Queen of Cups energy here, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, some of you guys are caretakers of a mother figure as well, but it's feeling, still holding on to feelings or resentment or something here. Yes. Some of you guys are pregnant, single parents out there, grandparents, something like that, but a mother figure here. Yeah, nine of wands, but you're not giving up. You're not giving up the fight. Okay, you're not giving up. It's like resilience. You're close to success, but you just feel like you've been through a lot. <clears throat> you're trying to maintain your title. You're trying to heal. Uh, some of you guys are counselors, therapists out there. You just feel like your profession, things are not picking up for you, especially financially. Some of you guys may be emotional. Okay, trying to be comfort, comforting towards others, but you're you're battling your own, you know, things in life. Okay, but you're standing your ground with people. You're standing your ground. You're not giving up the fight, though. Yes, six of swords. Six of swords, I do see some type of traveling taking place here. I do see some type of traveling, movement. You're transitioning. You're trying to let go of hatred of the past, and you're trying to move to calmer waters. You're trying to restore peace in your life. You may be dealing with somebody at a distance, as well but some type of feelings here it's your feelings here some of you guys may be going through health problems but a new journey you're moving on okay leaving things behind yeah four of wands some of you guys may be married out there some of you guys may be changing residence okay moving to a new place but this is all about grounding oneself some of you guys may be invited to a housewarming um, you know, some type of celebration, but I do see a reunion taking place here. You maybe see 1111 as well. Mm -hmm. But I do see some type of teamwork around a household, a transition, a new home. Some of you guys' kids may be going away to college, or you may be going away to college. Page of Wands. Yeah. Some of you guys are getting your certificate in real estate or speaking to someone about property looking over some type of documents i do see some type of news coming in mm -hmm. yes yeah so you guys are moving away from marriage or getting married overseas or trying to search for something here, but uh, page of wands, there's some type of information coming in. Somebody wants to speak to you here. King of wands, this may be an Aries or Sagittarius. Some of you guys may have been dealing with a player within your own marriage, or somebody is married and want to be a player here. Somebody wants to take action towards you thinking about taking you out on a date. 
I feel a protective energy around you, but this is you being bold and taking the lead of your life as well. But you may be finding out information within a household or within your own marriage or unconventional marriage. Uh, uh, some, some of you guys, this is just a living situation here. But there's something about money here. Money and being a parent and, you know, a mom and, uh, yeah. This could be a player as well. But somebody wants to take action to start in reverse. It's like giving up hope. You're, you're still standing your ground, but you feel like your faith is being tested. There's a loss of direction and despair, okay? It's creative blocks here and, like, focusing on the negative, but spirit wants you to remain hopeful. But there's something that's going to be, there's something, it's like giving up hope on a marriage or a person here. Finding out some type of information that is like a hopeless situation when it comes to this person, okay? Somebody's actions, Yes, nine of cups. Some of you guys may be doing emotional drinking or somebody around you is doing emotional drinking. There's a codependent energy here or self-indulgent. Be careful with that. But I do see you guys are manifesting material success and abundance. But you don't know if it's going to come true. You're giving up hope on your own desires, okay? They may be somebody desiring you. But again, this is uh, this is somebody here that is possibly a drug addict, alcoholic, sex addict, but selfish, selfish. Okay, likes to be in control of things here. Hmm. Okay, I heard falling star. This may be a falling star or a, a once upon a time a celebrity. Yeah, Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Right now, you're gaining a lot of clarity in your life about what you need to do surrounding a household, a marriage, uh, somebody, something being exposed here, a falling star, a hopeless situation, a person, um, power is money, I heard, so they feel like power is money or dominating kind of person here, but you're making sound decisions, mm-hmm. You may be taking paperwork out on this person as well or deciding to take out paperwork, but you're looking for new opportunities and to move away from the bullshit. You're all about action. But there's a breakthrough coming and truths, truths being revealed here. Somebody may be, you know, drunk calling you or, you know, speaking some type of truth while under the influence. Yeah, seven of wands, okay? You're very defensive or somebody's defending is like some type of truth that you found out that you brought to light and somebody's trying to defend those accusations or not being totally honest about what you discovered or you know what you're interrogating them for because i do see questions being asked here and somebody is like standing firm like oh no blah 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 this and that blah 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 but you just guys feel like there's a hopeless situation. Now, this could be in your own relationship. This could be one of your kids. Okay? But somebody is defending, taking a stand uh, here um, for one's... It's a truth being exposed and somebody is not being totally honest here. Yes. I do see an apology, but this could be one of your kids, like I said. Yeah, Ace of Wands. <clears throat> With the Ace of Wands here, this is all about action, passion, desires, okay? A breakthrough, progress. But this could also mean sexual, okay? Yeah. You may be dating someone that has kids already, okay? This, their children may live a distance or they have grandkids, something like that. There's kids involved. Um where you may have to step in and take control of a situation. I do see heated words being exchanged about money as well. 
about money um you know it could be with your own kids adult kids that you're having this heated discussion with or a mother fit but you taking a stand and being a, a, a you know a parent but i do see you speaking your mind here okay and a heated discussion taking place of pertaining to one's actions and getting down to the bottom of the truth here mm -hmm. and a household and a movement and the money yeah stuff like that but again somebody may have done something here that cost somebody money as well yeah the emperor some of you guys may be going to court they may have been some type of accident or some type of violence that took place. Something happened here with the Ace of Wands. And I do see a father figure here or a boss or a judge overlooking something. Uh -huh. With the Death card and the Ten of Swords, uh, this was like a type of betrayal here. Because you may be finding out somebody um, having sexual rendezvous or having a baby mother or something else on the side here. Um, entertaining other people but I just see this as somebody here that um, that likes to be in control of things okay some of you guys um, you may be learning your, your dad is sick or passed away or a boss betrayed you some kind of way some 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 somebody here betrayed somebody here okay so let's see here but somebody was being dishonest here about their sexual rendezvous or some type of physical altercation that took place here yeah nine of swords some of you guys are having sleepless nights a lot of anxiety surrounding you and your circumstances a lot, uh, isolation you're at a breaking point you just feel overwhelmed okay yes overwhelmed and overburdened that's how you're feeling You just feel like you have too much on your plate. You have no help. Okay? And we're not talking about... We're talking about adult, adults here. Okay? Not little kids. It could be little kids here, but adults here as well. Adult children. But you just feel like overwhelmed and overburdened. Exhausted. Too many responsibilities on you. Some of you guys are overworked as well. Yeah, two of pentacles. There you go. You just feel like uh, you're not uh, you're not in alignment. You you're juggling a lot by yourself. You got too many things going on at one time. Somebody may have been juggling between you and another person. You're in your head, deep contemplation about what to do with this situation with people, a household. You just want to move away. You want a fresh start. You're giving up hope. It's a hopeless situation. Some of you guys may be doing emotional drinking or smoking and drugs. Okay. Yes. But there's an imbalance here, and you're trying to get it together. It's all about time management. You feel like time is slipping through your hands. But you have to make a choice here. It's a choice. It's choices. But you don't know which way to go. Yeah, to close out a cycle. Because you're entering into a new phase. You're going through a phase right now. But you're back and forth whether you should finalize something or not. Okay? But making the decision, you're planning. You're planning something, okay? But I do see a travel here. But decisions, is a lot of decisions that need to be made here because you're tired and you need to release this burden once and for all. Yeah, three of swords. Some of you guys are heartbroken. Some of you guys are in separation. Okay, there's a lot of emotional pain when it comes to you. Some of you guys may be suffering from heart problems, see a cardiologist, some of you guys are cardiologists. But there's a lot of betrayal and upset here, okay? And, you know, it's it's releasing and forgiving, but uh, let's see here. Yeah, Knight of Cups. With the Knight of Cups here, somebody may have put on your, pulled on your heartstrings. I do see uh, somebody coming in, a love interest, all right? But this is you healing, Okay. This is you healing. Again, be careful with emotional drinking or some type of coping mechanism here. But it's following your heart and dreams. Okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I have an Aquarius here. Uh, I have an Aries, Taurus. 
with the Knight of Cups here, I do see somebody buttering you up or trying to kiss your ass as well. I did, I, there is a crush as well, too. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Okay, I do see a job offer that you're going to love coming in. I do see some type of collaboration taking place here. I do see some type of, um, you know, trademark, copyright, something getting patented, notarized, but something happening here. Um, a proposal of some sort. Okay, now it could be a proposal, a proposal, or it could be just a work thing. Okay, working together, being harmonious, coming up, coming, you know, coming together and compromising here. Mm -hmm. But there's somebody here that wants to work on things. Okay, they're gonna kiss your ass to work on things here. But I do see a new love developing at work or through work. But a job that you're gonna love coming in. But you're following your heart and what you're passionate about. Yeah, Queen of Wands. King Queen of Wands is the perfect match. Okay, then I have a King of Cups here. So there's definitely somebody coming in here. But I do see defensive. You're very defensive. You're not, you're very guarded. You're not allowing anybody to um, come in, you know, break down your walls. But this is about you taking the lead and being highly intuitive. Some of you guys may have a black cat as well but this is you looking very attractive and being confident going after what you want and speaking up for what you want as well only when necessary yeah page of pentacles yep there is an offer coming in i do see a date for some of you guys a business date this person may be younger than you you may work with children Mm hmm Again, this may be your child. But I do see in some form of child support, a date. It could it could have been friends with benefits as well, with the three of swords. But I do see someone coming in with an offer. But I do see a job offer to work together. Ideas, exchanging ideas. Yeah, four cups, but I see you rejecting it. Okay, you rejecting this. This is a page of cups. So you guys, page of, I said page of cups. Somebody needs to apologize here. Page of pentacles. So you guys are rejecting any dates or any friends with benefits or any any job offers or deals that, that you don't feel that's, you know, that's not, val that's not paying enough, basically. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you're rejecting offers. Okay. Somebody may have felt like they missed their opportunity with you as well. But there's deep contemplation when it comes to you and situations and just giving yourself away and, you know, not valuing yourself and your worth, meaning like what you can do, like in terms of business and, yeah, and just people just looking at you as, you know, somebody that is attractive but not having a, the brains to go with it. You want them to look at you as the full package, okay? Because with the Queen of Wands, you're very attractive and bold and a leader, but that's what they look at first, your eye candy, okay? So you rejected any offers of like, just sleeping together and nothing, or just any job offers that's handing you down pennies and you know that you're worth much more. Yeah, you're rejecting it. Somebody may have, you may have been feeling rejected by somebody here, but somebody's feeling that they missed their opportunity with you. Yeah, Seven of Cups, they can't stop thinking about you. Again, a lot of um, illusions around you, a lot of daydreaming, somebody's daydreaming, a lot of thinking um, about this. You have endless choices, endless opportunities, but there's a lot of wishful thinking, I would say, like the Nine of Cups but you don't feel you don't see it manifest manifesting into reality okay but you're brainstorming and you're trying to come up with ideas a lot of cups here a lot of emotions here a lot of feelings yeah five of swords you may have had an argument with someone here okay a fight a fist fight for some of you guys but with the five of swords here i do see competition okay competition um some type of aggression around you, yes. Conflicts, arguments, you stand your ground, nobody wants to give up here. 
but again this could have turned physical as well some type of domestic violence here somebody wasn't thinking before they reacted or said something yeah the chariot you want to move forward you want to leave the past in the past you want to leave this whatever disagreement that you had with someone or whatever happened in the past you're moving forward six of swords you just want to move away from it you may deal with a cancer the cops may have been called here for some of you guys the cops may have been called i'm not gonna lie with the chariot this person may be a police officer or work for the law but um you're all about self-discipline and focus and you're not gonna allow anybody to get you out of character now this could be you or this could be somebody that you know or one of your kids here there's somebody an uh, argument uh, happened and you know the money well I don't have the money to, to and some type of accident or you know something involving a car okay they may have been an argument um, involving a car situation as well a car accident or something like that okay or you having problems with a car hijacking something like that yeah there was people involved in this situation okay it could be a, a group of friends hanging out or you know your friends and some type of accident happened and you know now it's finger pointing and now where to come up with this money and a cord and there's some type of shit going on here yeah there's a lot of money involved here okay and somebody has to pay out okay so this could be uh damages that needs to be you know paid out okay yes some of you guys are getting rental assistance or waiting on some type of program or some type of finances to finance a new home as well. Or you're doing something with a house. Refinancing. Okay. But, yeah, some of you guys are holding on to your money and, like, where I'm going to get this money from to pay for, for these damages. And, you know, there were more people involved, but I do see uh, for somebody, somebody took the fall for this. Okay. And now a lot of money is involved in this situation. All right, but with the high priestess, it's like following your intuitions. You're remaining silent about this. Okay, yeah, there was a betrayal here. You see, and now something's under judgment here. But there were. This is people that you know that was involved in this situation that goes to someone here, or you know, somebody snitch on someone here, or somebody took full responsibility, and now something's under judgment. But I do see a, a, a ward coming towards you, or you get rewarded for something here. But there's a lot of spying going on here as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do see you trying to remain optimistic and happy and looking towards your future. But right now, things are delayed and things are up in the air. Yeah, you're learning how to release anger. Yeah, Queen of Swords, there may be a lawyer or somebody involved in this situation. Uh huh. But I do see you speaking up. You're setting those healthy boundaries. And, um,. Yeah. Yeah, because somebody somebody here did something and now somebody has to pay for the repercussions. Basically that. Whether it was a fight, an argument, a car accident, somebody has to pay for the repercussions. Because I do see a father figure involved in a lot of money here. Okay? Somebody speaking up and a father, whatever, whoever, and somebody seeking damages, money for damages okay all right but uh a lot of money is going to be paid out here okay guys but you guys are remaining silent about this and trying to come up with a plan or a solution to either move because i do see you moving and i do see some type of celebration in the end but it's taking time and it's like delays here delays but there was people other people involved and now you know money being old and there's some shit here yeah okay uh hold on guys Sorry, Virgos. Let's continue. So if you guys are interested in purchasing my deck, Love Jones, I'm still selling them for $55.55. My other new decks, which is one, this is one of my new decks. Um, I have three more new decks. Um, they're going to be available this month, okay? Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a narcissist. Again, emotional manipulation going on here. Attention freak. This could be at work as well. A boss or some of you guys are counselors. Okay. But there's a money thing here. There's a money thing here. Somebody telling their side of the story and what type of shit going on here. But it's having to do with business as well. Money. Money. 
yeah, some of you guys um, finding out about a pregnancy or you just had a baby or, you know, grandmother, grandfather. But this is, you're going through a rebirth. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are virgins out there as well. But giving birth to new ideas, coming up with something. Some of you guys, your children may need glasses. Yeah, Florida water. Some of you guys need to cleanse your space. This is actually Florida water. Okay. So some of you guys need to cleanse your space. Where's my ring? I'm just I just noticed my ring is missing, but that's okay. Yes. But cleanse your space. Okay. Your aura. Take a spiritual bath. Protect your energy. But you may be dealing with again, this may be a child or somebody immature. Ow, yes, some type of black magic is going on around you. Okay, follow your intuition. Some of you guys are tarot readers out there as well. The owl may be your spirit animal. Yes, some of you guys are seeking clarity or getting tarot readings to get clarity on the situation here. But I'm going to see what this black magic is about. Yeah, heart to heart came out fumbled. Yeah, somebody wants to have a heart to heart conversation here with you. I don't know how you feel about that because it came out fumbled. You may not be wanting to have a heart to heart conversation and come up. It came out fumbled as well. You guys are struggling. There's blockages here. There's blockages. Okay, but you guys are leveling up. You're trying to. You're trying to. You're trying to come up with ideas and fresh ideas. But it's 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 an energy here that's surrounding you. Okay. So let's see what this is about. Some type of secrecy, some type of fog, something that you can't see. Your intuition is, is possibly blocked, but I did see blockages. Okay? Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. So let's see what this black magic is about, guys. Because I felt the blockages. I felt it. Yeah, seven of cups. Somebody wants to leave you up in your head. Illusion. Okay? Have you overthinking? Have you anxiety, depressed? Have you, like, stuck in your head in an illusion? Okay? Yeah, page of pentacles. This is about money, children, and money. Again, you may be dealing with... Somebody may have took a spiritual bath. Be careful with food and anything that you drink from anybody. Okay, you may be dealing with a child that drinks too much as well. But child, money, illusions, payments, a payment here. Yeah, king of pentacles. This could be a, a father figure or your ex-husband or a husband. Okay, a, a business person here. Okay, yes. Some of you guys may be losing money, but you feel like you lose your mind or your health is declining or something, always something happening with you. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Yeah, somebody wants to win something here. Win. Yeah, tower moments. They're causing tower moments. Yeah, there, there was like a fight, an argument, or a disagreement that took place here, possibly over one of your kids or a child here, and a payment here um, of something that took place here that caused a rift with someone else. Okay? Yes. Yeah, they're waiting for an outcome. There is possibly something on the judgment here, a verdict of some sort. And they want to win this case here. Yeah, they definitely went to a spiritualist here. Uh-huh. They're working with a team. This could be at work as well. Or some people that you work with. Yeah, they want to leave your finances off balance. They want to leave you imbalanced here. Okay. Some of you guys are pregnant or mother figures or father figures or bosses out there. Yes. Yeah, this is somebody, this is over money. This is over money. Okay? This is over money. And a child doing something, somebody doing something foolish and reckless here and costing somebody else. That's how, yeah, children. It's having to do with children. Okay? Children, money, finances, somebody, so, something, some child doing something here or, yeah. Money, yeah. Okay? But this is definitely a father figure or a, a, a boss of some sort. 
Okay, what's this heart to heart? But it's somebody else, and I see competition. Somebody else could be jealous over you as well. Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. This is something that's not working out. It's a lack of teamwork. That's why heart to heart came out fumbled, okay? In my, my right ear, I can't hear. It's clogged, okay? I don't know why it's just been clogged, okay? But there's something here. Some of you guys may be clear audience, but there's a, uh, it's conflict in a, in a group setting. It's not working out. Yeah, it's, all, it's over money. There you go. It's over money. Uh, it's possibly a promotion of some sort or money that's owed to you as well or who takes the bigger half but there's somebody that's controlling and it's all about the money okay yes but there's something that working out here and somebody wants to come to terms but you guys can't come to terms when it comes to a deal with money yes something being rejected here or offer being rejected because page of pentacles is not a good offer somebody wants somebody seeking big money here and somebody's saying that they don't have the money or whatever but uh, you know can they pay in increments or something like that but yeah something's not working out and somebody's feeling like heartbroken and depressed and stressed out over this fucking shit okay yes yeah there you go it's fights and arguments over this money and nobody's getting it's it's no it's nobody's on the same page here okay that's what this heart to heart is about and that's why it came out like this fumbled like that because it's, it's no agreement here. It's, it's, it's either you pay me everything or, you know, <laughs> somebody is account, it's, it's somebody's trying to like negotiate this, but <laughs> some of you guys can't come on to say it's not, you're not, you guys are not agreeing. Uh huh. Okay. Like, who does the most work and whose idea was this and child and having to pay for somebody else. There's a new love coming in, okay? Somebody with pure intentions. I do see projects taking off, but new beginnings for you. A pregnancy as well. Yeah, you guys are going through the karmic storm. Cause and effect. You just feel like when it rains, it pours. Overwhelmed and overburdened. Yeah, queen of earth. Some of you guys are married out there, but this is your energy. You being stable, you, you focused on your finances. You being a good wife, husband, provider, mother, but you're all about business, okay? Being financially stable. Aries in reverse. Oof. He may have been dealing with somebody that was aggressive and arrogant here, stubborn, wanted their own way, bad temper, impatient. Again, domestic violence here, fighting, arguing. A lack of different, a lack of discipline. Empire. Some of you guys are uh, entrepreneurs. Okay. Trying to build your legacy, or you already built a legacy, but dealing with somebody that's controlling here and temperamental and impatient. But I do see growth and abundance here. You may be dealing with a Capricorn or meeting around the holidays. Yeah, this may be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Okay, or Sagittarius may be coming through, but somebody reliable, honest, bold, um, sociable, a straight shooter, somebody that's hilarious as well. Yeah, you're dealing with an energy vampire. There you go, energy vampires sucking the life out of you and you're tired of it. But some of you guys may be, again, fighting over property, an empire, you know. Some of you guys may be married to this person and you're not agreeing with the terms or what was what is owed to you, okay? Yes. But there's an illusion not to be trusted here. Yeah. This may be a Leo. Okay, but this is you being bold and taking the lead of your life. There's somebody passionate and loyal coming in, expressive, somebody that's consistent and stable. But that's what you're you're doing. You're taking a lead in your life. One more. And Pluto, Scorpio, rising above the bullshit. A definite rebirth happening towards uh happening with you. Change, transformation. But rising above the bullshit.
but there's this energy around you. So energy, a dark energy around you. Yeah, fights. There's fights. Some of you guys may be boxers, but there's a lot of fights and disagreements. Nobody wants to come to terms. It's, it's tension. Yeah. Some of you guys are feeling trapped, trapped in your mind, but that's where they want to leave you, stuck. You're feeling stuck like you can't escape. Stuck in your mind. Yeah, sacrifice in reverse. You're not sacrificing anymore. You're not sacrificing anymore. You sacrifice a lot. There was a painful decision that has to be made, and you're going to make it. You're, fat, you're sacrificing enough poker face. Some of you guys may love to gamble or you was dealing with somebody that's a gambler that owed money, but there was somebody being two-faced here, laying both sides of the field, hiding their true intentions and feelings, a lack of expression. Yeah, gypsies. Some of you guys are tarot readers or getting tarot readings, but insight. Follow your intuition. Yeah, some of you guys are married. But some of you guys are getting married, but paralyzed. You feel stuck in this marriage or stuck in a situation here. Yeah, some of you guys are getting a divorce. Can't come to terms or an agreement with what is owed here for terminating a marriage, but separation will be costly. Complicated relationship. Excuse me, and star. Remaining hopeful, a bright future, doing the healing work. But some of you guys are stars or celebrities. But I did see a falling star. But you're trying to remain optimistic. Spirit wants you to remain optimistic no matter how detrimental the situation may be. Yeah, the world. Things are about to close out. Some of you guys may have worldwide success or be internet success or starting your own online business. Mm -hmm. But this is the end of a journey, okay? Completion of a major milestone, 10. Sadness in reverse, trying to come back to that happy place, restore happiness in your life. You may be dealing with Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, reconciliation, but I do see business deals and negotiations, an agreement coming, but a conversation taking place here. The unseen in reverse. There's something that you can't see that's coming towards you. Spirit is working behind the scenes, but there's something that's that, that you're going to see. Unseen, that there's something that you're going to see full on, you know, but there's magic happening behind the scenes. Yeah, sad news in reverse. There's some type of happy news coming. Something that you've been waiting for for a very long time. Yeah, but there's unfinished business. Something that you're going to see, like I said, that is going to put the missing piece to this puzzle once and for all. But you're seeing things through. You're getting rid of toxicity. You're seeing the bad behavior, seeing people for who they are. The toxic situation that you need to get out of or work situation. And secrets, yeah, the secrets being uh, secrets come to light, okay? But the Spirit is saying one, one day at a time, one day at a time, one day at a time, but you're you're moving in silence, okay? Working in silence, moving in silence, yeah, gathering your information. Mm This may be, some of you guys are graphic designers. Assistant Chief, Bill Gates, um, computer technology, or computers, real estate agent, entrepreneurs, athletic trainer, multimedia artist, janitors, quality control inspector, jeweler, Medical records technician, environmental scientist, event planner, bank tellers. Still trying to figure it out. Forensic science, bookkeepers, dermatologists, surgeons, jugglers, utilities manager, engineers, physician assistant, 
genetic counselors, medical transcriptionists, bakers, Zigbee developer, advertising executive, judicial assistant, air traffic controller, paralegals, art directors, and technical writers. There's snakes and you're seeing them for who they are. You are starting to outgrow your work situation, people, places, and things. You need to set higher goals and standards. You work well in healing and medicine. Relationships, shedding, getting rid of a, a relationship that was toxic, that's for some of you guys. Business partners, office love affairs, and communication with coworkers are highlighted now. Make choices with extreme care. And beginning okay some of you guys are pregnant but fertility it's a good time to start a new job or a whole new career you have creative ideas that get noticed build a nest egg for the future shooting stars celebrity status but healing healing going through the healing process taking your power back Okay, there's a powerful change coming. Yeah, you're going through the purification process. It's all about growth and self-development, okay? But regaining your power, yes. Standing in your power. Mm -hmm. This is my other new deck, my fruits and vegetable deck. Orange. Some of you guys may love orange juice or orange. Optimism, happiness, vitality, meditation, and joy. So Spirit wants you to meditate on it. Okay? Get your vitamin C. Tomato. Healing, rejuvenation, blessings, and spiritual restoration. One more. Some of you guys may love tomatoes and thyme. Powerful ancestors, undercover boss. So some of you guys may be undercover bosses. Modest, hard to get, may suffer from insomnia. So some of you guys may not be sleeping well. But yes. Let me get two more and I'm closing out your reading. Virgos, thank you for joining me tonight. False narrative in reverse. So now you're seeing the clear picture. You're not telling yourself a story anymore. Now you're seeing things for what they are. You had a reality check. One more. Now, inflexible change, but change is coming. You may be dealing with a Capricorn and have rising moon Venus or your North Node in Capricorn, but this is all about hard work um, as well. You or the person involved are set in ways that are impeding growth. Be more open-minded and see the other person's point of view to expand your perspective in a healthy way. Oftentimes, being too rigid masks the problem that causes imbalance and unrest. Flexibility is needed to create flow. Okay? So, Spirit wants you to stretch your limits. But you're making the necessary changes. Okay? One more. And I'm closing out. Seal. Yeah, so there's a letter coming. There's an invitation coming. But sealing the deal, I heard. Okay? Business contracts. Documents. Gift of money, career, writing, clerical, paperwork, and stay in put. Okay? So, again, a will, an inheritance, something here. Okay? But anyway, I love you guys. I have to go. I'm possible. You're possible. You're good, Tosh. I'm out. <laughs>